Hey there! Today we're going to talk about the string.h library in C. So let's get started. Let me go ahead and open up this editor. And as you can see here, I have created this file earlier. I name it ex54 underscore string library dot C. So in here, you notice that I have included the string.h library in here. So the string.h library contains numerous string functions. So the statement uh, includes the string.h at the top or in here uh, gives your program access to the following uh, functions like strlen which returns the length of the string stored in str and not including the null character so to better understand this i will just give you i will show it to you how or what are the functions available for string h library so let's create a character So here are the examples of or the functions available or included in the string.h. So we can use, once we have this added in our program, then we can call strcat. So there's a lot of things that you can do with this. So strlen returns the length of the string stored in str, not including the null character. strcat, which is in here, this line. So cat str1 and str2 or s1 and s2 appends can appends or concatenates str uh, string1 or string2 to the end of the str1 and returns a pointer to string1. So it's going to append or concatenates uh, the characters. Next is the strcpy. strcpy string1 and string2 copies as you can see here on line 12, I abused the strcpy str1 and str2, which copies str2 to the str1. So this function is useful for assigning a string to a new value. So let's go ahead and run this program real quick. Oops, let's close that one and compile and run. And as you can see, the gray fox jumped land of s1 is 20 s1 is how is now jumped so this the length i as you can see here that we have used the length so we have used the str cat the len and the cpy so this is how it's being used so additional string.h functions include strcat, strncat, str1, str2, and then n appends or concatenates first n characters of string to the end of the str1 and returns a pointer to str1. The other one is strncpy. Uh, str1 and str2 n copies the first n characters of str2 to str1. And then there's uh, strcmp or string compare str1 str2 returns zero when str is str1 is equal to str2 or less than zero when str1 is less than or less than str2 and greater than zero when str1 is greater than str2 strncmp str1 str2 n returns zero when the first n characters of str1 is equal to the first and characters of str2 less than zero when the when str1 is less than str2 and greater than zero when str1 is greater than str2 and uh, strchr uh, strch1 and c or character returns a pointer to the first occurrence of character c in str1 or null if characters not found str uh, str chr str1 c searches str1 in uh, in reverse and returns a pointer to the position of character c in str1 or null if character if character not found and uh, also the str str or string string str1 and str2 
returns a pointer to the first occurrence of SCR2 in SCR1 or null if SCR2 not found. So no worries about the other uh, functions that I have mentioned. I'm going to put it in a, in a, in a, in the description below so that you will have so that you can use it for later if you're going to use other functions. So just a quick note and that, that I'm going to add in this code that um, to avoid any errors if you have a lot of programs running if you have uh, 1000 lines of code then I would suggest I would recommend uh, putting a value in here or the size of the array character array let's just say 50 and that will going to resolve any buffer overflows if you have a lot of if you have a uh, thousand lines of, of codes so make sure to put the size in here so that if we're going to concatenate it with the S2 it will not going to have any problems so let's go ahead and run this real quick and as you can see it still doesn't have any errors in it and uh, also if you have you're running a different uh, compiler you might be getting an error on your end but since I'm using a different one I don't have any issues so to fix the first issue we all you need to do is add the size in here to uh, avoid or to solve any buffer overflow issue the second problem you might be experiencing if you're using a different compiler or you might be seeing a warning with your GCC compiler so instead of using the decimal or for the permut specifier in here so we're using the SRLN function you can use the as the ZU just like that so that you will not be experiencing any um, warning issues with your compiler so let's go ahead and run this real quick and as you can see it's still running the program so let's get back this let's put the decimal in here And that's it for this video and before we wrap up let's test your knowledge I have here a little exercise for you on this tab and as you can see there's a missing piece of information in here that needs to be filled in so I need you to type in a code to include a header file containing string functions so if you know the answer to this please put it in the comments section below thank you Bye.